So today we're going to have a look at the realistic TRC 2005, which is a PR27 GB um, format set, which means it's on the CPT40 channels. This has been as a special request from uh, somebody who subscribes to the videos on here. This is a radio I bought new at the time, so it's a set I own, it's not a customer's, and I've just lost the remote control for the camera. There we are, that's better. It looks to me like I suspect it's made by Maxon. It says it's made in Korea. And it's this. Well, it will be made by Maxon, obviously, because uh, I'm going to be using the service information I have for the Maxon MX1000, which is the same radio. Um, when CPT came out, uh, was it 1986 ish? 1987 somewhere we were all excited because it was going to be another 40 channels and we're going to be away from the bucket mouths and the music players and the burner brigade and all that and in actual fact certainly where I am in in Lincolnshire near Grantham it's virtually unusable because there's S5 to S7 of, of noise uh, from all over the world and so you've got very very restrictive range I know when my late mother was alive I tried talking to her from West Willoughby, which is a mile and a half away, and I was unable to talk to her because of the background interference. So one and a half miles in the middle of nowhere, you know, is absolutely atrocious. On the 2781 band, we get 35 miles in one direction, and um, as you've, if you've seen the range test we do, or the, the kind of on the air test that we do, uh, we get very restricted range in another direction because of the terrain. Uh, it knocks us down to about six or seven miles, which of course is ideal for seeing how radios perform. So we will be doing a range test when I've been through this. This set would have been spot on. It would have been serviced by myself when I bought it. Uh, it hasn't been touched since. I've dug out the circuit diagram uh, for the Maxon MX1000, which is the same thing. And we've got a block diagram as well. So I'm going to make myself up a, an adjustment chart. I probably even have the proper realistic service manual somewhere, but uh, it wasn't in the filing cabinet, so we'll do it this way. Okay, so I've uh, just cleaned the contacts in the microphone. Well, I've definitely not used this, um, certainly since the 1990s. And it would have been service when I bought it, uh, which would have been in the very early 1990s, like uh, 91. Right, so we're going to go into transmit. I've done myself a little chart from the um, circuit diagram. Obviously this is a working set, uh, but just to go through this, that's going to be the VCO. We're not going to touch that because it's clearly in lock and without the proper manual, I don't know what the uh, procedure is. Uh, to set it on frequency, it's going to be CT301. CT301 is the 10.24 oscillator trimmer, which is just down there. You see that in the red? That's that. Now this radio is should be on 27.205. Remember on CPT band. So channel 20 is 27.205 and it says on the instrument here 27.20502. That's fantastic, especially since it's so long since it's been used. So let's move on to some of these, uh, to the transmitter lineup. The first of the transmitter ones is 210. So I'm going into transmit. No improvement there. 209. No improvement there. 208. No improvement there. And whatever's under the uh, can there. Um, I'm trying to think, trying to see where it, where it is on the circuit. Um, the trouble is that it's a photocopy of a photocopy. So I'm not uh, doing very well with that either. And there we have it, the lineup. So it's 210, 209, 208, and the mystery one under there. And I'll just zoom out a bit. 
RV202, which is there, is power set. And I've had no difficulty in getting a full 4 watts out of this radio. What I'd also like to now discuss is where's the... Um, it's got four what is called ferry lights on the front. I'm just going to set those now. Let's see if we can find which preset that is. And the preset for the LED display is that one hiding under that bit of wiring next to the power input choke and I understand it's RV201 so I've set that so that all four fairy lights just come on when I press transmit so this is all into a dummy load in the test instrument so that is the RF meter adjustment now deviation I would guess is going to be the preset there so I'll get the little oscillator out we've got well over the top deviation it, good grief it's nearly 5 kilohertz so just turn that down and I'm quite correct it is that I'll now reset that to a maximum of 2.5 what I'm going to now do is quick whistle test <whistles> wallow <whistles> that's absolutely fine and we'll, oh, I can't use the monitor receiver because that's on 2781 band so there we have it You've got 210, 29, 28, the one in the can. Frequency set with CT301, RV203 is a deviation, and RV201 is the RF power meter set. And that is it for the realistic TRC2005 CPT only CB radio.